Hey everyone, Sobdev here and welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. And in today's Roblox Studio tutorial, we're going to be learning about how to make a advanced main menu. So, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the star GUI and just insert a screen GUI right off, right off the bat. And now what you want to do is just name it menu. And now what you're going to do is press on the plus and of course just add a frame. Now what you want to do is you want to go down to size and make this to size 2 comma 0 comma 2 comma 0. But the reason why we're doing 2 comma 0 instead of 1 comma 0 is you'll see. Now go to the position and delete the first 0 and do minus 1. And then do minus one and that will make it fit the entire screen even in a better way because it will even fit up the top bar and you'll see what I mean we actually test it out so now in the frame um insert a list um, just press the plus insert a list UI list layout and now as you see you have these options here and make sure horizontal element is center and that is also center but the thing is let's just see what happens when we try to insert a text button as you see it doesn't you know fit the entire screen it doesn't go here so what you want to do is delete that text button and inside the menu you want to add another frame and this frame in this frame to make the size one comma zero comma one comma zero and now what you want to do is make the name main menu g1 and now as you see let's press the plus to add a text button it works so how much Okay guys, so I just changed the color and now what you want to do is just customize your um your menus. This is optional by the way. Skip to whatever number on the screen if you want to skip this, but this is much optional. So what you want to do, if you want this um to fit on all the devices, you want to fit these buttons all the devices. Press on the button and see this arrow right here press on it and then open x and y and you'll see that we have an offset here and press on it and make sure it's zero and make sure this is zero too but see when we do this it just goes like this so what I 0 0.1 and then i just do 0 0.1 then what i do just go back do the same thing now, why would you want it to fit on your devices? So as you see here, we have only um this for the um the play button. But as you see, look at this. This is very much out of order. And if we do this, as you see, it is not sitting all the screens. You see this just moved, and this is why we need to do this. Um, of course, it's optional, but honestly, I would really recommend this. I just finished um, offsetting everything. If we go now, as you see, everything, it fits everything. It is a perfect screen. Even go to i4s, as you see, it all fits perfectly. So now when you customize everything, um, you want to go into the play. And you want to add a local script a sound hover local script so what i mean by this is you want to go to view um and open toolbox and then go to audio and now i'm just going to search up hover gui sound this is really cool i'll just show you how to do this
So guys, I'm just gonna do this one and add it into your game. And by the way, guys, make sure there is no spaces. So I'm just gonna delete all the spaces. Make sure there is no spaces in the name. And there we go. Now you just wanna go back to the local script and make sure to put the script in the play button. So basically what we're doing here is whenever your someone's mouse hovers over this play button, it will play the sound over here. So we're just going to go ahead and test it out right now. Okay, guys, so here's our game. Um, Yeah, so the color went a little bit bad. So I'm going to change the color. So wait, I'll be the after this. So as you see, we hover, it plays the sound. None of these buttons will actually work. So yeah, but um, in order to make that you know, f um, fit the entire actual screen, you have to make the colors um exactly the same. Um, Roblox actually changed it before it actually um worked how it was supposed to, but um, they soundly changed it. So I'm just gonna make it pitch black. Okay, guys. So I changed everything, and um, uh, now what you wanna do is. You want to make this um, hover sound play for every single one. So you just want to right click, and then press duplicate, and then just drag it. Now you don't know how to drag it. You got to left click. You got to hold left click, and then put it in to there. I don't know. It's right click or left click. I'm not sure, but not click. You just have to hold it like this. It's either left click or right quick or whatever um but anyways oh my god siri what are you doing anyways now and then just duplicate it again and then do the same thing and put it into the settings so now guys we have actually completed our customization well you guys can customize more but this is all i'm gonna do for now so now let's actually add the script so the actual um, script so the first thing we're gonna do is make the play button actually work so add another local script inside Okay, guys, so this is the script. You can just pause and copy. By the way, guys, make sure you're following all the steps by, you know, putting all these things inside. So now what you want to do is um, about page. Um, so this is the about page. We're going to do that later. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and test it out. So, guys, as you see, it, um, it does the sound. And um, there's this blue border right here, and I know how to fix that. Don't worry, you guys. We press play. It gets rid of the, the menu. So now, guys, you must be wondering to get that stupid blue border. So let's go to, so go to the frame, the properties of frame, and make sure border size pixel is zero. And go to the main menu, GUI, and make sure the border size pixel is zero. The play button works, but how do you make the about? So that is very interesting. Inside the main menu, GUI, you want, actually want to add a, a frame. So now, this is going to be our about frame. So now, as you see, we have the frame. You could just customize it, like always. And inside the frame, we're just going to add a text button. And this is going to be the close. And I'll be right back when I um, make that. Now inside, okay. First of all, we're just going to name this frame um, about frame. And you guys can just put text inside here. We're just going to 
um say about the game and now let's insert another local script and i'll be right back when i do that Okay guys, I just wrote the script, and now what you want to do is make sure the about frame is obviously not visible. And now, how do you even open the frame? Well, good question. Insert another local script inside the about, and I'm just going to write it out, and you can just copy. guys there is a script pause and copy so now guys let's go ahead and test this and um you can make the hover sound for the x button too anyways let's just um go ahead and test it out you guys see um we fixed the border problem as you see place the sound we hover and now let's press about it opens the about frame, just say, and that works too. And the same, you can do the same thing for the settings too. You just do the same script. You just do the same script as we did here. So now let's make the, the same thing. Um, let's just make the settings frame now. We're just gonna name this settings frame. Yeah, I got the name wrong there, but it's absolutely fine. Background color is going to be yellow this time, I guess. Just copy and paste this. And do this too. And just change it. I think it's complete. Um, so let's test out this advanced menu for, for once for all. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is obviously the menu. As you see, it covers the entire screen. And if you would have done one comma zero comma one comma zero, it would only go up to here. And you do not want your players to know what your game, what's going to be happening in your game. So that's why you have to do that. And now, as you see. You know, you can press play. It's got to make sure settings work. Settings those work, and you see. And you could just put any setting you want inside here. Press the X button. As you see, it works. And if you press play, you played the game. Anyways, guys, I hope that really did help you out. Subscribe and like for more Roblox Studio tutorials. I really do have fun making these, and we do these daily. And yeah, so peace out.